Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a developer product so that when people click on it, they get money in the game and you get Robux. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to take the leader stats from the description below and just drag into server script service, just quick and easy. And then we'll just name this to coins really quick and then add in another script into server script service and we can just name this by coin script. And then in here, we can do local market place service equals game colon get service marketplace service. And then local data store service equals game colon get service and data store service. Make sure that that is local. And then we can just do local currency name equals coins or whatever your currency name is and then we can do local previous purchases equals data store service colon get data store and then previous purchases like that and we can do local 100 coins and then we're just gonna leave these quotation marks there for now and then we can do marketplace service dot process receipt equals function and then in here we can do receipt and then we, <clears throat> a new end should appear and then we can do local id equals and then receipt dot player id dot dot quotation marks hyphen and then dot dot receipt and then purchase ID now we can do local success equals nil then we can go down and we can do p call and then function and then we can do success equals previous purchases colon get a sync and then in here we can do ID then we can go out of there and we can do if success then return enum dot product purchase decision dot decision dot purchase granted and then we can go local player equals game dot players colon get player by user id and then receipt dot player id and then we can do if not player then return item dot product purchase decision dot not process yet and then we can go down and we can do else if receipt dot product id equals equals 100 coins then player dot leader stats and then in square brackets, we can do currency name and then dot value equals player dot leader stats square brackets currency name dot value plus 100. And then we can do another p call function and then we can do previous purchases colon set a sync this time. And then id comma true and then right here we can do return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted and then we can insert a screen gui into starter gui and then in here we can just insert a text button and name this 100 coins and then we can also add in a local script let's customize this text button first so i'll make the background color to that color change the border size pixel to three and make the border color to white and then i will move the position to zero comma zero comma zero point five 
comma zero and the size i'll keep the size i'll change the font to cartoon change the text to 100 coins change the text color to white make it text scaled and there we go now we can go into the local script and all we have to do in here is local marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service then we can do local player equals game dot players dot local player and script dot parent dot activated colon connect and then a function and then we can do marketplace service colon prompt purchase player and comma and we will come back to this later so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna publish your game to roblox then go to roblox.com go to create and then go here and then configure this game make sure that enable studio access to api services is checked and save it then we can go down to developer products create a new one and we can call this one 100 coins and then we can do get 100 coins price in robot i'll do like 25 then we can make a image for that i'll go to canva.com create design custom size is 500 and 500 create a new design change the background color then i will type in coins i'll choose this one make it a little bigger and then i'll type in 100 and make it white and then i'll download it then i can choose the file and we can create it so this is the id that we need so you can go ahead and copy that and then here we can paste it there and also in the buy coin script we can do it right here no quotation marks and that should be it so we can go ahead and play test it then when we click on it and buy it it will give us 100 coins and it will actually not charge you anything it says this is a touch this is a test purchase your account will not be charged so yeah if you wanted to add more in you could just copy this and move it up and then we could just change the text to say 500 coins and then in here we would just have to copy this and we just change this to a five and then we'd have to change the id so then we'd have to go back create a new developer product name it 500 coins and then get 500 coins the 100 robux create it copy that id bring it back here paste it in there and also we need to change this to keep it organized 500 coins and also change it out right there and then also what you're gonna need to do is copy this part and then paste it down here and just make sure that they're getting 500 coins one other thing is we just need to change this to 500 coins then we can play test it click on it buy it and boom we have 500 coins oh my word hello okay and like always if you have any problems with the scripts all you have to do is go to sites.google.com slash view slash kai the awesome keep in mind that it's kai the awesome without an e as like without the e right here then there will be a drop down like this where you can drop down and you can copy all this and put it into your own scripts so that it will work for you i just ask that in return that you subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time